So I've been uh, I've been trying to take this a wee bit more seriously, Glaze. So I got a, a pen and a piece of paper in front of me, so I can't forget the players' names. Oh, nice! Very oh, nice. Yeah. That's impressive. Professional pooty. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Petri is ready. Can't see, but I'm also wearing a tie. Oh, pants. my man! <laughs> that... I'm actually not wearing a tie, but you know. I know. I, I know. Could be. No. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. 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 You definitely are. I'm actually wearing um, suit pants right now which y'all can't see but it's all part of the professionalism absolutely i'm also sitting on a solid gold chair um, yeah well i mean that's what you need to make the big bucks yes yes you gotta you gotta start from somewhere and you, a solid gold chair is a good place to start listen to make money you have to invest money um mm -hmm. so that's what i and you know the, the way the dollar is doing you know gold is a great place and that's right. Chairs are a great place to invest. Anyway, down here in the bottom left-hand corner, we have our pink Zerg. It is Starlet Ninja. All right. And then the top uh, top right. Oh, my gosh. I love this. We have Loco this is... Clan versus Plebs Clan. It's hilarious. Oh, man. In the top Dude, right. These, these... What? Oh, I'm sorry. No, no. Okay, okay. Uh, it is Macaroni playing Zerg. All right. What were we saying? Awesome. These, uh, these green things are the slow downer towers that we've all been hearing about, They huh? are, and they actually inhibit overlords as well. <laughs> so overlords Wonder. fly very slowly. If you see an overlord that goes through versus the overlords that go around, overlords that go around go around, like, they get there so much faster. So Starlet it's... actually saw this yesterday, so she positioned her overlord to go right around all of them. Whereas Macaroni's is going to go through the last set of inhibitor zones. Last. That's so interesting. So we'll get to see how much shorter it really is by going around versus going through. I'm excited to see that. That's so interesting. Wow. What a cool map feature. Dude, it creates, it's going to create so many like things. You know, like I'm just like thinking like Ling Bane versus Ling Bane in this. Yes. Seeding up some tanks behind it, like if anything running through these uh, zones are gonna get completely murdered, right? Yeah. And any like yeah. how much does it slow them down? Forty percent. Forty percent. Wow. Or thirty-five. Uh, you cannot kill the inhibitors; they do not have health. Yeah. So yeah. So look at that Overlord. Too. Look at Starlet's Overlord. It's like almost <laughs> at the natural. Almost there. And macaronis is just like trudging through the so this would make 1312 very strong right because you kind of want to go around this outside edge meaning like if you're to do any kind of early pull you just kind of go up um like if you're in starlet's position you just kind of go up north instead of around the side and they're almost never going to see it because sending an overlord around the other side is going to take so much more time than it normally would that's a very good point. That's a really good point. But it just, the, it really excites me to think about Ling Bane Wars that happen inside the inhibitor zones. The, yeah. the amount of micro we could see happening in there from the, you know, how slowed down it is at the pro level. Like, that would be insane. Oh, It'd be man. Really cool to see. I wonder how much that's going to mess with, with like, people's micro you know like i'm sure it will be a lot but just think about the speed of everything changing as well as all the other dynamics changing you know yeah yeah Ooh, is starlet gonna lose no i don't i think this overlord gets out okay unless it oh, says to stop oh, oh my okay, gosh it was one shot yeah. we have a, a bunch shot. of lings coming out of starlet ninja coming down this bottom side um they don't quite have speed yet but they will be getting speed probably within the next i don't know 20 seconds or so Plus one has also started up for Starlet Ninja while we have the Roach Warren and the Lair coming down for Macaroni. So we got some pretty different styles coming out of the two players. Yeah. One uh, thing... Counter... Sorry, what? <clears throat> it's okay. Um, Starlet Ninja is just catching up 26 to 29 workers. Yeah. Okay, this is uh, I mean, this is big lings, uh, big number. Yeah. Um, One thing that I like wish we saw from Starlet after casting like a few of her games recently is... The uh, like, she always likes to go heavy ling at the beginning, but never gets a baneling nest, which mm. I just feel like it's like a kind of a. It's really important. Have to. Uh, yeah. 
Especially since a bunch of lings are getting produced out of macaroni right now to defend. Like against roaches, you don't really need the, the baneling nest, but across all these lings, you definitely do. And all those lings just got cleaned up. I mean, not before she put in a lot of work. We're at 18 to 32 workers right now. Very mm -hmm. heavily in favor of Starlet Ninja. Yeah, it is. Killing nine workers right there. So that's good. Yeah, Starlet's in a pretty good spot, so. However, we do have mm -hmm. Lair Tech and Roach Speed now just starting from Macaroni, so he does have the tech advantage. Um, I I hope this actually becomes a played game in at the pro level. Like I I, I mean a played map. I don't I hope they map. don't just uh veto it every yeah. time. Yeah, I agree. That cuz that happens a lot, I feel, where there's like a, a map that has some cool features that no but none of the pros want to play just because it's wonky and it's hard to practice. Yeah, like what about uh, 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 Cobalt, GSL Cobalt this season in GSL. It's like the only four player map we've had pro scene in like so, so, so long. Oh, GS I actually didn't even know about that. I, I haven't seen a, a four person map in GSL in forever, man. Yeah, so GSL, they always have a like a GSL only map. Well, a lot of times they have a GSL only map that you don't see anywhere yeah. else. And, um, so Cobalt is that, and the only person to have picked Cobalt is Scarlet. Scarlet actually huh. picked Cobalt to be played uh, in her GSL. The Zerg, of course. <clears throat> yeah, seriously. Nah, um, <laughs> but no, that, that RNG factor, I think, uh, favors Zerg the most. No, definitely. I agree. <laughs> um... Uh, by the way, third just now finishing for Starlit Ninja, so um, she's going to have that extra production coming behind. She's still very heavily uh, ahead in workers, 39 to 32. Yeah, but the, I really like, like, plus one range is going to be out for mm -hmm. Macaroni. Tunneling Claws? That's really cool, man. Oh, I feel like cool. that's... I, I love seeing Burrow Roach in ZVZ. <clears throat> I think it's one of the coolest ways to ever, like, get to, to come back, you know? Yeah, I agree. You can get, you can do some very cool stuff with it. Mm -hmm. um, surrounds and stuff like that. So one thing that's cool to see though is like Ling's on creep and the inhibitor zone, they still move pretty quickly. Yeah, like they, huh. you can tell that they're slowing down, but it's they're still moving quickly. Yeah. Okay, big oh, roach attack. Creep is awesome. Coming across the map for Starlet. How many roaches is this? We got uh, fifteen roaches versus oh man. We only have three for macaroni. This is gonna, this is potentially huge, gonna be huge. We have nine in production though, um, and he does have that plus one attack upgrade. It looks like his, his roaches are going to be there in time. Okay, so um, this this attack is suddenly a lot less scary, but it is it is scary. So I can see this if you're star. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, if you're Starlet, I can see you being maybe overconfident and trying to push into that choke and losing to a concave, but... But uh, Macaroni just decided to greet her outside the door. <laughs> that was very generous of Macaroni. <laughs> that was very generous very of Macaroni. Very generous. <laughs> Said, I, I understand that my buildings are in a position that might make it difficult for you to engage properly, so I'm going to come out and... What a gentleman. Right? I like that like, he throws out the GG, but is staying in. He says, holding on here. I like this. <laughs> holding on here. No, I think if he stayed behind his wall, he would have been totally fine. Definitely. Um. Definitely would have been fine. <laughs> um, That's okay. Good game. Yeah.